What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, I don't know, who cares, let's do this. So, in the last episode, we went through the underground basement, took us a while, but we finished it off, yes. And now, it is finally time to conclude this whole Team Rocket uh, thing, by going straight to, or well, going back to the radio tower, because we got the key card, or card key, I don't know, however you like to phrase it, or something like that, from the director himself. And now we have to actually go to the third floor. Thankfully, we have defeated everybody in here, so there won't be no issues. Look at everybody, they're just scared. I'm, I'm looking at you guys, I'm flipping you all off, that's right. I own all of you Team Rocket members. And, well, let's go right here. And two episodes ago, you guys may have noticed that we couldn't get through here, but now we got the card key, bam, open. And we got another trainer to battle, so bring it on. Why did the shutter open? Did you have something to do with this? Probably. Okay, so here we go, guys. About to take on another Team Rocket grunt. And here he comes out with Eradicate. So he's making it a little more easier for us. Chico, how's it going? Let's go with a Body Slam. Body Slam. Finish it off, and there- Oh, nearly beats it! And... Toe Whip does it. And, well, here we go again, quick attack. And the Body Slam. For the win! That is how you do it! And... Well, let's see. Coming out with a coughing. Let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight back to Hera. As you guys probably already noticed, my Pokémon are... They're well within levels, you know, they, they have some pretty good levels right here. I've been doing some, uh, good training. And we are well within our way to going into the last gym battle. I kind of predict that at least two, I'll have two Pokemon at level 40. Probably. That's probably what, what's going to be needed. But, I said this a few episodes ago. I do have a little bit of a script on how I want things to go. And it's looking like we're going to have a very, very nice, very informational adventure right here. So I hope you guys can, I hope you guys are ready for all that. And well, look at this. Yes, done for. Mm-hmm. Talk to this guy. What? You made it past our men in the underground? How could you? Well, they weren't strong. And well, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Stop! I'm known as the Team Rocket Fortress. You're not taking another step. Wow. So, you know, what they could have done right here, well, this is executive, they could have made this executive, like, big and bulking and, you know, brutish and all that stuff, but he just looks like everybody else. Yeah, you're not, you're not a fortress, so I'm about to show you what kind of a fortress you can be. There you go, body slam. And, you know, your goal that could have just, uh, your goal that could have just evolved into a crowbat just by now, but... Yeah, turns out that a lot of these Pokemon don't really love their trainer, so there you go. Muddy Slam. Paralysis, right? No. Oh my god. There it goes again. And that was super effective. So, let's go right ahead, another Body Slam. And there you go, Golbat has been defeated. Bam! Level 36. Okay, alrighty. Serpentera, mooching off us again, and he's like, the fortress came down! Yeah, you're no fortress, homeboy. Let's see, you've earned my respect, so here's some advice. It's not too late, you can still turn back. Yeah, I'm not too scared of all of you guys, so, um, let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with Togepri. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Don't, don't I think uh, Pokemon are cute? I think, uh, oh, I'll think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours. Hmm. <laughs> kind of scary. I could hear her voice like that. Okay, here we go. Taking on a Rocket Grunt, female version, and, well, she's coming out with her Ekans. And, well, here we go. Let's go with a Fly Attack right here. And, well, the Bite Attack doesn't do much, so here comes Fly Attack. And, oh, nearly defeats this, and, oh man, we're gonna get poisoned. Oh, never mind. Okay, so here we go, swift attack for the win. 
There you go, took a free taking uh taking everybody down with it, and well, let's see, we got three more Pokemon. It could handle its own. Really wish it would have learned a psychic type move, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that one right there. So let's go with the Shadow Ball right here. Shadow Ball. Nearly does the trick, and its special defense has gone down. And you know, if you know this this was now, Togepi would be feeling the pain right here, except for poison. Because it is a fairy type Pokemon eventually, and look at that. Ekans defeated. Nearly grows to level 31, I believe. And well, here comes an oddish, so yes, we can take this one out. And well, we're gonna we're gonna feel the poison. Just a little bit. I think I've gotten poisoned like five times already. I don't know. So here we come. Fly attack. And just like that, fly attack does its trick. There you go. Level 31 Togepi. And Togepi is trying to learn safeguard. Well, that would have been useful. Yeah, I'm not going to teach it safeguard. It's not, not a move I would want to use right now. And well, here we have one more trainer, or mo one more Pokemon. So let's go with Hera. Bring it. Yeah, we're not gonna let this we're not gonna let this gloom beat us. Okay, so here we go. Ember attack. And just like that, Gloom has been defeated. Oh my god. Almost oh wow, we almost grew to like level 32 right there. Huh. Oh no, they're so useless. Not really. Talk to her. I love my beautiful self. Who cares about Pokemon? Well, okay, never mind. I am going to heal my Pokemon yet again. This is probably like the fifth time, like I said. And you know what? Let's use a rare candy on Togepi. There we go, level 32. So we're skipping on ahead with that Pokemon. And let's go right ahead and switch out to Hera. Just for this little situation right here. Talk to her, and she's like, Mary. Why why do I have to suffer through this? Uh Meowth, help me! <laughs> Meowth is saying, nope. Nope, I'm good. They got snakes as Pokemon. And well, let's see, there's no items except for that one. And we are at the final stage right here. Remember me from the hideout in the uh, in Mahogany Town? I lost then, but I won't this time. Now she's feeling she's feeling a little salty after, you know, supposedly. We brought in Lance, which, by the way, where the heck is Lance? So she aims to give us a give us a little receipt right here, which you know it's not going to happen. We're gonna Ember attack this snake all the way, and oh, nearly does any. Okay, so you're trying to wrap me. Let's go with the faint attack. Yes, we're using two moves right here. Yes, and. Oh, nearly defeats that guy, and here comes a glare, but does not affect me, so here we go one more time. Faint attack for the win. And there you go. Faint attack does its trick. Hera is the hero of this whole story. And, well, level 32, 100 HP. Here comes a Murkrow. Yes, definitely a Pokemon Fluffle wants to see. Okay, look at that flow Volt, what's up? How you doing? Alright, time to Thunder Punch it. And here comes a Nightshade, and this all depends on the Pokemon's level. So this move can actually be very, very powerful if your Pokemon, like, if your opponent's at level 100. Think about that one. And there we go, Murkrow defeated. Look at that, level 36 Fluff Volt, Serpentera. Level 35. Yes, my Pokemon are growing. And, well, let's see. Coming out with the Vile Plume. We got the Pokemon for that one. Let's go to Hera. Okay. Vile Plume. Looking like a... Looking like a big old mushroom right here. Poisonous mushroom. Kind of looks like a ghost a little. So here comes an Ember attack. And there you go. Alrighty, and well, here comes a acid attack. Not gonna be effective right there, and then, thankfully it doesn't pay, it, like it doesn't uh, poison us or anything like that. And just like that, Vileplume has been defeated, and more experience points for Hera. 
And, well, Serpentera, mooching. We have defeated Executive! And she's like, This can't be happening! I fought hard, but I still lost. Yes, you did. You look good doing it, dude. Draven, isn't it? A brat like you won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. That's too bad. I really admire your power. You really do, huh? Come and see me next time. Although, I'm 10 in this one, so never mind. Okay, so let's go straight for Lucky right here. And, well, here's the final boss. Oh, you managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over the radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will allow you to interfere with our plans. And here it is, guys. The final battle against an executive right here. And yes, he is going to be coming out with Hound Hour. So that's pretty much the reason why we couldn't battle him, because he did have these Pokemon as a surprise. But luckily for us, yeah, we already had Hound Hour. Yeah. We had Hound Hour, and we, we, we kind of did some good stuff with it. It's already evolved. Now, I remember playing playing this guy for the first time as a kid, and when Houndoom came out, I was like, holy crap. I was uh, I was quite surprised, to be honest. Very, very surprised. I was in love with the Houndoom. Messed up part was that, you know, you couldn't get Houndoom anytime soon, and yeah, okay, so that's happening. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Hera, because, well, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I got one too, homeboy. I got one too. And... Well, let's go with a faint attack. That way, you know, smokescreen doesn't really do much. And bam. Look at that. Okay, so... Oh my god, here comes a sludge attack. And that right there hits us just a little hard. Okay, 30 HP right there. So, here we go. Faint attack for the win. And there goes Copping. Yes, Copping is not the person, and well, look at that, Lucky grows to level 34. Yeah, we're giving Lucky a lot of love right here. And here it is, guys, his final Pokemon, Houndoom. Let's go right ahead and go back to Lucky right here. Lucky, you get the honor since I've been screwing you over quite a few times, and look at that, Houndoom looking like Houndoom itself, like a Doom Pokemon. Alright, roll out. And that bite attack is not going to do much. Oh, crap, Baskets. It is a... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Good, good, because... Uh... Damn, this Pokemon is strong. And... Well, here comes a Surf attack. And... There you go. Look at that. And it nearly defeats this guy. Let's go ahead one more Surf. And here comes its Feigned attack. Yeah, this guy, this guy is really going all out with his Pokemon, and we survive with 7 HP, Lucky, by the name, by your name, you're Lucky, and there you go, Houndoom has been defeated, yeah buddy, yeah buddy, Team Rocket Executive has been defeated, no, forgive me Giovanni, yes, how could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the, uh, the task at all. Like Gio Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Bam. And I am the hero of Johto. And well, the director's here. He's like, Draven, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. We grabbed ourselves a clear bell. And this will enable us to do something pretty special. There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky. So we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up the, the bell during the, the construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokemon lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps the bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in the Ecrotech City. Ah, that reminds me. I overheard Team Rocket whispering, uh, apparently something's going on at the, at the Tin Tower. I have no idea what's happening, but you might look uh, might look at it. Okay, better go to my office. Okay, so yeah, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and grab this, and we found ourselves another Ultra Ball. Kind of telling what my, my what's gonna happen next. Anywho, so we have saved the day. 
people will erect statues in our honor. I am uh, pretty much, you know, a legend at this point, being cocky just a little bit so everybody's happy. And, well, let's see, run 24 hour broadcast. Yes, never mind. Um, yeah, so, in the next episode, it's gonna get a little crazy, and it ha and it's mandatory. I wish, I wish we could have saved it for later on, but no, it's Pokemon Crystal. You can't go to Blackthorn City without doing this, and that is, you gotta go and capture, what's his face, Suicune. And they built a new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. Is anybody talking about anything? Uh, was the man in black literally part of Team Rocket? I can't believe it. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, hee hee hee. I got in trouble for playing in the underground base. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, we have uh, saved the day. And in the next episode, yes, we are going to be going back to Ecrutex City because apparently something's going on. And remind you, and, and as a reminder, guys, you can't. You can't go to Blackthorn City without doing this. Now, I mentioned in the very beginning of our of our series right here that I was going to be bringing in some Pokemon that you know from my past generations and all that stuff. And then on top of it all, we're going to be going with you know some Pokemon that you know that we've used in the past as a capture team. You guys don't know capture team is basically you know Pokemon with special specialized moves that will actually help me with the Pokemon right here, like roaming Pokemon and all that stuff. So, in the next episode, don't be too surprised if you see some uh, familiar faces, some some extra stuff, you know, along the way. Because, yes, we're going to do everything we can to try and capture this Pokemon right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys want to make a small donation. Oh, really? <laughs> Hello, Tuli's here. Perfect day for fishing. How's the trip? Going along. Can't complain. No one cares. <laughs> Anywho, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. Link's in the description. If you guys want to join this channel and watch members exclusive videos, there will be a hat game coming soon. Just join and you will be able to get the exclusive content. Thank you guys again for all the views and the likes and the comments. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go up against Suicune. See you guys.